after a promising early start to the season. These are how the teams lined up. Tony Yeboah, the Leeds top scorer with 11. John Newsom, the Norwich captain, playing against his former club. And in goal for Norwich, 20-year-old Andy Marshall, who's had a baptism of fire since taking over from the injured Brian Gunn. Gerald Sinstad at Ellen Road. Again, this time with Kelly pursued by Akinbae. Dean, and I think that's hit the post. <laughs> Kelly had got down into the corner. Akinbae went with him, couldn't get at him. Good deep cross, and Dean gets up well, and I think that came back off the post. Go. Everybody running left for Leeds. Dean has pulled away to this side. The bar there, the pass didn't quite reach either. McAllister. Beautiful pass again, measured, then in by Kelly. Overpopulated defence simply confusing each other again. Leeds just need to steady down a bit. Brian Dean has been uh, looking to score himself virtually every time he's had the ball. In the corner. No work from McAllister. Option this time to play the in swinger. And that was better. Yabar, not the tallest of men, but it was his head that met the ball, sent it over. Kimbae just lofting it forward towards Ward. Well, there really could have been danger there, but Akinbai's touch wasn't good. And now they've made a most terrible mistake, and Norwich have taken the lead in the most extraordinary circumstances. Real confusion between Lukic and his defenders and Ashley Ward just ran through to put the ball into an empty net. 35 minutes played. Crook. Ward was calling over on this near touch line and has a ball to chase now good pass it was too but support from such crook coming in that's got a football from norwich more confidence about their play a bit of bounce and swagger a bit of expectation kelly Well, it had to be hit first time and uh, it was well and truly hit but speed has hardly been on target all afternoon somebody needs to get a control here feels for a penalty and the referee is giving it mass protest from Norwich but a lifeline for Leeds United and possibly a direct line down to the first division for Norwich City McAllister scores and Leeds are level Keeper went left, ball went the other way, and it's now 1-1. Gary McAllister's sixth goal of the season. It's come through, Whelan overhead and over. A 
frustration for Whelan. Played two minutes of added time. A point apiece. The fate of the whole season. Getting closer and closer. And Leeds have stolen it for the second week running in injury time. And it's the same man. Carlton Palmer, two weeks running. Squeezes the ball in by the post. And... Leeds have surely now consigned Norwich to the first division of the Ensley League. And the final whistle goes, the second astonishing last-ditch victory by their team at Elland Road on successive Saturdays. An equaliser from McAllister from the penalty spot, but the extraordinary timing of Carlton Palmer has put paid to a gallant effort by Norwich City. So, final score, Leeds United 2, Norwich City 1, and Norwich are down. I couldn't see Leeds scoring before the uh, the penalty, and the way the penalty was given has made the, the result even more galling. Is there any theory in your dressing room about why the penalty was given? No. No, we... Uh, you can appreciate that I'm a long way from it, but when I've when I've seen him pointing, I, I thought it was either for your boa backing in or a handball or something in there. When he gave a penalty, I was, I was just dumbstruck, and the reaction of our players and the Leeds players suggested that um, they felt the same. It's a real kick in the teeth, the way uh, the penalty. I mean, I've not seen it on television, but um, what I know is, you know, that we we feel like it wasn't a penalty, um, and I think. As soon as it was a it was a goal, you know, it's 1-1. We're conscious of the fact that Villa are winning. Um, and we threw everything forward and then they is on the on the uh, 90th minute with a sucker punch and you know the rest is history really.